Another common risk this time of year is frostbite, especially when temps get as low as what we've seen recently. Emergency rooms in the Siouxland estates have seen an uptick in frostbite cases in the past week. One man from southeastern South Dakota was hospitalized with frostbite in his hands this week after he fell on ice and spent 30 minutes outside without a hat or gloves. In the Hawkeye State, the University of Iowa healthcare team says it's treating more than a dozen frostbite patients right now. The medical director at one Iowa clinic says it's important to know the warning signs. Some of the first signs that uh, frostbite might be setting in is just, you know, numbness um, in the fingers, toes, wherever it, it may be affecting. Um, it might be a little uh, clumsy, you know, if you're if your feet aren't working as well, that's another sign. Um, if you're touching things and, and the sensation isn't right, if it feels hard or, or waxy or something like that. Frostbite can kick in within a few minutes after exposure, but it can also take hours. Mixell says if you're showing signs of frostbite, take off any wet clothes, gently warm up the affected area, and seek medical care if symptoms persist or get worse.